jobs and campus, we have our howls. That mean we constantly aspire to work hard, get smart and be kind. Each strand of our howls is different and the pledges attached to them guide our daily expectations of behaviour in order to be the best versions of ourselves. At Norton Infant School, getting smart means we share the same goals and challenge ourselves. We understand everyone's roles in our journey. We are proud of ourselves and our crew. Our aim is to be the very best version of ourselves. Underpinning all of this is collaboration, encouragement and communication. At Norton Juniors, getting smart means being organised and ready for school every day. Trying our best in all we do and being resilient by sticking up problems. It means seeing mistakes as opportunities to learn, asking for help when we need it and using critique to improve our work. In both our schools, our words and phrases are not needless platitudes. It's what students and staff use to measure their character growth and hold themselves and each other to account daily. They are the very centre of what makes our schools function. At Norton, our curriculum is engaging, purposeful, authentic and academically rigorous. It's hard work and complicated to put together and we're extremely proud of the quality of expedition our children experience. They produce beautiful work, progress academically and become better people. Our teachers work creatively to collaboratively construct the curriculum, keeping our students and staff interested, invested and invigorated. Our curriculum is knowledge rich, standards based and teacher led and allows our children to express who they are through their work. Our students work really hard because they enjoy the work, just like we as adults do. Our curriculum is also experience rich, utilising the community that surrounds us to provide experts that are often only too happy to share their passion with our students and staff. Our children experience more than just the four walls of their classroom. When we construct our curriculum, we ask ourselves, what is powerful knowledge we need to give to our children to enable them to have an impact on the world around them? We begin by planning in phase teams, ensuring we rigorously map against the national curriculum, ensuring our children are exposed to above and beyond. As part of our planning process, we consult with field experts both within the XP Trust and beyond. We hold Jeff's Laws meetings where we share our expedition with other staff teams and ask for critique to improve our expeditions before they even begin. This includes mapping out the expedition, writing a narrative, and our staff are expected to make, write or perform the model product. This ensures we have a clear understanding of exactly what we're asking of our children. If it's good enough for our children, it's good enough for us. All of our expeditions begin with a hook week, where the children are involved in building our classroom environment, being immersed in the expedition and discovering the guiding question, such as, how can I be a superhero where I live? Which was a key stage one expedition and photographs that change the world. How can one moment influence our future? which was a key stage two expedition, focused on significant moments throughout history that have been caught on camera. Following on from this, the children go through three case studies, all rigorously mapped against the curriculum standards. Intertwined through our expeditions are high quality texts which drive and influence the expedition, such as The Green Ship, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Street Child, War of the Worlds, The Explorer and Kensuke's Kingdom. Our expeditions culminate with a product which will live outside our school walls, which will have an impact on the wider community. This could be a book, a video or a presentation. The key is we make our learning public. Our work is out in the local community, whether that be at the Dana Mark Gallery, Council Park or on social media platforms. Our children are making a difference to their world right now. The key stage one expedition, How Can I Be a Superhero Where I Live? focus on art, computing and humanities as the three main case studies. The immersion of our expedition was a visit from a comic book artist who shared with the children a book all about a lollipop lady superhero. In addition to this, the children all came dressed as their favourite superheroes on the first day of school. Throughout the expedition, the children met a range of experts such as the mayor, PCSOs, doctors and other inspirational local heroes. As part of the immersion week, the children also helped to build their classroom environments into their very own superhero hideouts. The children thought about all they had learned during the expedition. This enabled the Year 1 children to identify all the people who have had an impact on their local area. Their product was a set of Top Trumps cards celebrating all of their local heroes. Following on from our field work in and around Norton, 
the children in year two identified the things they could do to make their community a better place and how they could be better citizens. The children made a comic book demonstrating all of these amazing contributions that they could make to have an impact. This expedition did get interrupted by COVID-19 and this enabled our children to model what they'd been learning about. Children and parents shared lots of photographs and examples of where they'd been able to put being a good citizen into practice and made a real difference on their local area. The Key Stage 2 expedition, Photographs That Changed the World, focused on history, science and art. Case Study 1 looked at the development of technology and groundbreaking inventions. The focus for the second case study, Fight for Your Rights, focused on key events that were turning points in history in terms of equality for all. And finally, the pupils engaged with the final art case study, where they recreated a significant photograph from the past. During Hook Week, Year 5 and 6 explored some of history's most iconic moments caught on camera. They discovered the development of cameras and photography over time and were visited by a local photographer who provided the pupils with the fascinating stories behind some of the world's most famous photographs. Within this expedition, they also took part in a powerful inclusion and diversity workshop led by a local businessman who engaged the pupils in discussions about Martin Luther King and Rosa Parks, as well as his own experiences of racial inequality throughout his life. To support the funding of the final product, a calendar, the pupils decided to write to local businesses and ask for donations in return for brand advertising within the calendar. The pupils managed to raise over £500 and made valuable links with businesses in the community. Due to the pandemic, we were unable to hold a launch event as originally planned, to which the local businesses and experts would have been invited. However, the pupils created a fantastic video celebrating their learning and this was shared with everyone involved with the project, as well as parents and carers. At Norton, we have a three-dimensional learning approach for our students and acknowledge that to be the best version of ourselves, we need to produce beautiful work, develop our character and achieve academic success. Of course, this is done through a multifaceted approach where personalisation and child-led learning is at the heart of achieving these goals. Here, both teachers and students are aware of their own individual learning targets that we refer to as their MEs, minimum expectations of core subjects. Each child's ME has been set based on the previous key stage assessments. A child's ME is aspirational and set in line with the top 20% of primary schools nationally. This is because we want the very best for our pupils and believe that having high expectations and aspirations for each child will go some way into achieving this goal. At our Norton schools, children take total ownership of their learning by regularly checking in their progress and setting targets, making pledges to ensure they meet their goals. This is normally done in academic crew sessions, where children have the opportunity to discuss their progress in small, supportive groups and offer critique to each other about how they may improve in a particular aspect of their learning. In addition to this, children's progress and attainment, whether that be academic data or a child's character growth, is always available to them by being visible in workbooks, ensuring that all children have the opportunity to take ownership of their own learning. And they when we're free, when they concentrate. I want to be free every day. I know I'm free when I concentrate. I do good listening, I do good sitting, I talk when it's my turn, and I join in with cold calling. I know that my me is free and to produce the best work for me. I need to be achieving this every lesson every day. However, I like to challenge myself even further and I aim for a four. This means I'm exceeding my me and I often succeed with the help of my crew. In a lesson, the work I do will be either a three or a four, depending on how difficult it is. Three is the gold standard and four is the green standard. I will always try to achieve a me of three in a lesson as this is my target, but sometimes my work is a four, which means I'm exceeding my target. I know that my me is a four in writing, this means I need to be working at the green standard in most, most of my lessons. When I finish a piece of writing, we use writing rubrics to see whether I'm working at that standard. 
My peers help assess when I, where I am and then we critique my work to see where I can make improvements. Using this critique, I then make edits and redraft my work so it is the best it possibly can be. I really love it when we have the opportunity to use our crew to critique each other's work. Getting smart to me means not just achieving my own mean, but being able to help my crew too. If I can support somebody with their learning, I know I can understand it completely. Getting smart to me means looking at uh, mistakes that I make in pieces of work and make um, improving on them and um, correcting them. Also, it means asking for help if you're struggling on something and also to look at work that you've done and improve it by yourself so if you think you can use a better word for something changing it so get smart to me means always wanting to improve and like not just taking on your teachers uh, critique but trying to like work with your partner to always trying to get better at everything i need a rubric in lesson so i know what i need to do to achieve my me this means i know what's expected what I can do to improve and achieve beyond my, me. My teachers and crew help me with this too. We get there together. A rubric gives us targets to achieve. It could be achieved in a lesson or a longer term. They help us to praise and wonder our work and each other's work. It helps us to see very clearly the progress we have made as we highlight and tick off our achievements.